All right, to, today we're gonna take off the steering wheel. Um, the goal is to kind of wrap this in leather using uh, one of those professional covers and then sew it, sew it through. Um, but you can actually do it with the steering wheel on, but <clears throat> just for precision and kind of detail and just maneuverability, I'm gonna take the steering wheel off. Um, before I take the steering wheel off, I'm gonna kind of just see what we need to do. We're gonna disconnect the airbag and um, the goal is not to have the SRS light come back on so we don't have to reset it again. Um, so what I've done is I've removed the battery, disconnected it. We're just gonna let it run or stay disconnected for the next three minutes. And then that's when I'll start kind of trying to disconnect it. Um, so let's just take a look at what we need to do. Um, I'm gonna try to take it off without removing this kind of cover. I'm not sure if that's even possible. We might have to actually take off the cover itself. This cover here has two or three screws on the bottom here. Um, didn't bring a screwdriver, so hopefully we don't need that. And the other thing we need to do is pull off this little lever here. You can pull it off. I was able to pull off with just my fingernail, but if not, you can use like just kind of like a flat head screwdriver and just kind of pry it, pry it out. And that's what that is. And this is the connection to this SRS steering wheel of the airbag. So we're just gonna see if we can remove it and then uh, we'll go from there. All right, so just like the, um, the driver and passenger airbag, it's like this kind of like yellow clip where you can push it back and forth, but you can't really do that while it's inside. So you can actually disconnect it from this plastic piece here so that it's loose and now that you see it's loose uh, we can actually proceed with taking it out so you just kind of push it back doing it with one hand and you can see it kind of see that kind of just snap away down then you just pull it apart all right i was able to do it with one hand uh yeah so you push back and then pry it open when you have two hands is a lot easier but that pretty much disconnected the airbag just now so um, now we're going to see what we need to do to take the rest off. All right. So right above that clip, you can see there's like a yellow or a golden bolt, which is like a star pattern there. And then we go on the other side. I've already taken it off this here. Just like the other plastic piece, you can just kind of pull it through and there's another star pattern bolt there and this was just kind of laying like that so when i pulled it out we're gonna have to get a screwdriver with the star pattern bit and then take that out and i think from there um the airbag can just pull right forward so um let's go ahead and get a screwdriver and come back and take this off all right so we have various star pattern bits here we're gonna connect it to this kind of socket um and then just kind of like a 3 8 kind of wrench socket. Um, that way we can um, torque it out because I don't think it's just regular screwdriver is going to be able to kind of pull out those bolts. So first we're going to see which one of these kind of six um, star pattern bits uh, fits the system. I think it's going to be the second to the largest one here, but we'll see. Uh, first thing first is... Um, Seems like the reservoir to access the bit, is the bolts is pretty deep, so we're gonna stick it in now. It kind of comes out a little bit, but it's hopefully it won't come out while we're trying to unscrew. So it. this is the right size. Um, so we're gonna go right ahead and just kind of crack it open and go from there. Gonna put the phone down and use two hands. So this is the other side. We were able to crack it open and now I'm just kind of backing it out slowly. I'm gonna tip it over so I don't lose the bit. The goal is not to lose the bit. Let it slide it out. Okay. It's still on there. And so we're just gonna kind of hand pull it out. Have my fingers right around the bolt. It's a little tight, but I'm still able to hold it. 
There's still a few threads attached to it, but here it is. Um, so now that it's loose, both sides are loose, let's try to pull the airbag out. So we're gonna pull it out slowly. You guys get a little close up there. There we go. And uh, it's pretty much disconnected except the plugs. Let me try to pull that one out. And then the other one is connected to, so we pulled that yellow one out earlier. There's another plug connected to this black portion here. And we're gonna try to figure out how to unclip it. And I think we just press it through, but I'm gonna put the phone down and just to kind of take a closer right. look. So I took a closer look. You can see there, it says it's push on that little black piece there. So um, we're gonna do that now. And then you just kind of back it out. That looks like the ground wire. So it's connected to that metal piece there. And that's the airbag. So the airbag's disconnected. We already disconnected the battery. And the only thing we need to do to remove this entire steering wheel is take out that bolt there. Uh, we might have to take these little buttons off. I think this is connected to the cruise control. And as well as these things, I'm not really sure quite yet, but let's take a look. Let's remove this center bolt. Um, and then we'll go from there. Um, I think that might be a 14, maybe a 17. This is a 14. Yep, that's a 14. So we're gonna take it apart and then see what happens. So unfortunately, like your wheel's gonna lock in place because it's still kind of moving, unless you had someone else to hold the steering wheel while you're unlocking it, but we'll just go with it. So let me just uh, put the phone down again and then see what we need to do here. All right, have it on a tiny stand so you can kind of see me try to take this apart. So the wheel just locked. Now we can pull out that bolt. There's the bolt. We get close to it. We took the bolt out. It's pretty much pressed in. Um, I don't think we could pull it with just our hands. We might be able to, but we're gonna need like a steering wheel puller for this. All right, I'm pulling the steering wheel. It's not coming out. So we're gonna come back with a steering wheel puller. All right, so um, we're gonna need to press this out. I have this tool here. So this is a steering wheel puller from Powerbuilt. That center bolt is the center screw, which is gonna do most of the pushing. We're gonna need those yokes. And then we're gonna to try to pick the right set of screws. They give us a, a, a number of them from like M8, a quarter inch, five sixteenths. Might actually be the M8, but we'll see. Um, and the goal is to um, put, well, the process is to put the two screws in between these, this here and here. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna press out the steering wheel. Um, what we'll need to remember is the placement of the steering wheel. So right now it's locked to the left side there, but there's this little hashtag, there's a little line, and then that little tiny line of the area that we're pushing out. And that's gonna, that's pretty much gonna be where we're gonna line it up when we put the steering wheel back. Um, but now um, we're gonna actually just try to assemble this polar onto the existing steering wheel. It's gonna push through here, kind of push the steering wheel out because we can't pull it manually right now. Um, then we'll go from there. I'm also gonna, while I'm doing that, I'm gonna remove this clip here. 
because I'm sure like it's gonna get snagged somewhere. So um, removing that little clip, just pull it out of that white plastic so you have a little bit more room to maneuver. Comes out pretty easy. Now it's all disconnected. I'm gonna pull out some of the wire so it just doesn't get in the way. So that center bolt goes through. It's gonna go through this little, they call it yoke. And then we're gonna find the right screws on the side. I'm gonna go with metric first because that's usually the one that it's supposed to go in. This is M8. And it goes through. You guys can see that. Now we're gonna put the bolts through the yoke. And we're gonna spin the M8 bolts as far as we can because we want it to have enough threads before we start ratcheting away. So I'm just kind of backing in this by hand. It's really hot in the car right now. Disconnect the battery. Just have the driver's side door open, but the windows are all shut. Okay. So you can see that all these bolts are in. And what's gonna happen is we're gonna, we're gonna spin it and it's gonna put some pressure and just kind of pull the knuckle out. So let me get that in place and then we'll actually take out the ratchet to give us a little leverage. So you see that? It's tight on it. Uh, it's with, it's, the threads are actually going through this yoke here. It's putting pressure on these bolts. These bolts are being held in place on the steering wheel itself. And when we ratchet this, it's gonna push down and just separate the steering wheel. 17 millimeter, it's gonna go there. And then we're gonna take the socket. And then we're just gonna start spinning. Close the door, it's really hot. And you see that, it just popped. But look at that, it's all loose got it out and all you do is just it's out now just kind of maneuver the the wires out of it so let's take the uh, safety the yellow clip out first back out the other gray clips and there it is there's the steering wheel disconnected so yeah um, I'm gonna take the steering wheel do a little magic with the cover uh, when we install it, we're just going to clean up all this dirt sitting behind here, uh, but more on that to come.